All right, Castle Viking here. We are playing this war of mine, Final Cut. So let's get into this. I've played this a little bit before. Uh, another try. Yeah, you can see I've uh, already finished this one with Pavle, Bruno, and Marco here. And now I am going to play the first one with Katja, Bruno, and Pavle. So uh, this this game isn't really made for entertainment, but well. I kind of have to try and entertain you with this anyways. Uh, we are in a civil war uh, in, oh, some uh, country, I don't remember. Uh, and we are trying to survive. We are not soldiers, we are just scavengers trying to survive in this building. What we need to do is gather food. That's the most important thing, keep it hot and just stay alive and we're gonna try and clear this out the first the place we start in the first day so yeah civil war broke out many people thought it would only last a couple of weeks so we have katya pavla and bruno and we will be starting to talk about them soon katya is a reporter bruno is a cook and pavla was the star of the local football team okay so we are trapped in the city Suffering from hunger, disease, and shelling. Let's see if we can survive this war of mine. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start and clear some rubble. With some of our guys here. We have rubble all over the place. Let's look at... Oh, which one is this? Uh, where is the, there more rubble? Okay, we can break down this door. Yeah, nice. And we will try and collect things with him. Uh, first we will sit down here. <laughs> you can see that she is working on this dirt. You can get a shovel. This will go faster. But that's not important. We're gonna have two people digging and we're gonna have Bruno here. Running around collecting things. I should probably have used Pavle, but I'm gonna make it in the first day anyways. So, let's loot this. So we get some stuff here. We will be talking about all this stuff. As we play, and we're gonna have to take a look at the Bruno here, the good cook. So, oh, there's some food that is good for this game. Let's look at Bruno. Bruno is a good cook, which means he uses less resources when cooking food. And cooking food is important, because then the food will last longer. He's also a smoker, so he will be happy if uh, we have cigarettes available. Which we uh, will in a little bit. I'm not too worried about these things from the start here. I'm more worried about getting stuff. And what we're looking for right now is basically uh, components and wood. Components of wood, we need a lot of those to make stuff. And we got a couple of things there. You can see we have a fridge here. There we can see uh, what food we have available. Basically, my people will eat, need one food every day. Right now, I have one uncooked food, uh, which counts as half a meal. Okay, okay. I think... Should we build something soon? Yeah. Now she is through over here, so she can go there. Both of my people are looting. We get more materials and wood hair. Also all this other stuff that we can use to make things. So you're gonna get that. I don't think I can open this door yet. And here we have the simple workshop. He's gonna go, go use the simple workshop. We have some stuff to pick up here. Let's look at Katja who is slightly sick. She is slightly sick and that means she could get worse. So I would like uh, her to get some medicine. I do not have any at the moment. Katja is, has great bargaining skills. She's a reporter, so she's good at talking. And we are gonna trade a lot in this game. She's also a coffee drinker, so she will be happy if we have coffee available. So what we can make here and what we are going to make. We can make a bed. We need beds to sleep through the night. We need a simple heater in a while. Radio will make my people happy. We can earn a rainwater collector to gather rain. Really important. We can have a moonshine. So we can make some liquor. I can drink the liquor. Or I can trade it. 
we need a crude stove to uh, prepare meals and this is fuel and also water filter for our uh, water collector we are gonna get to use make the metal workshop first with that we can make some tools that's gonna be important where do we want to have our little metal workshop where are we gonna sleep we're probably gonna sleep down here or something I don't think that really matters we got a lot of more stuff there okay he's through here I don't think there's more stuff I can open right now oh I can open that probably looks like it at least yep okay he's gonna Pablo is gonna be digging over here uh, you can't really do anything but we can soon enter this door I could use a lockpick because I found a couple of lockpicks already but there's another way to do this and that is if I make a crowbar so we're making a crowbar that means I can open all these locked doors using that tool and lockpicks cost a little bit more to make I think they cost like three components and I mean we're gonna find a lot of components components is not a problem there's no problem finding components it's just that you're gonna need so many of them okay we have the crowbar so there we use the crowbar for this you can go down here get ready to open that door or actually you're gonna go over there okay so she's in here let's dig a little bit more and you can open that one uh, let's meet Pavle my last guy Pavle uh, is a fast runner so he moves faster than the others uh, I think also how much food they've eaten uh, affects how fast they run and this is the day phase when I can build stuff and yeah, clear out my shelter but we are going to go to the night phase where I can send someone out scavenging so we will often send out Pavle scavenging because if he gets into trouble he can run away um yeah and also sometimes we might send Katya out because she has bargaining skills and we might be able to find some stuff uh, find someone to trade with when we're out so she is a really good character so is Bruno both of the, them are fantastic in this game fuck the war okay language people language So yeah, now everyone's digging. I have this one I have not opened yet. And also these behind here. That's all I'm missing, right? Looks like Katya soon done. Need some medicine for her. Now we have a medicine cabinet here. It's empty as you can see. But I'm thinking that some stuff will turn up pretty soon when we enter, open some of these lockers so you, you saw I could build some stuff there my tactic for this playthrough is basically getting uh, the axe as fast as I can okay some uh, jewelry I can trade that other stuff I have uh, uh, other stuff I have I have herbs here herbs are fantastic for making stuff and sugar I can use for moonshine, water I need to cook things and for moonshine and these other things, parts and electric parts are for building things in my shelter. A book is for my people to be happy because I have books. You open this one, no, not you. You open this one, you open this one. Okay, we have more jewelry. I guess Bruno can run over here and how much food do I have two food at the moment and he got into this one okay there we have medications that's great because I have a sick person here so she could take the medications but maybe I get the other stuff here the herbal medicine because she's not very sick now you can see that we are at 7 p.m. 
Okay, no herbal meds. I think basically I'm... No, 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 don't use the... I think I'm just gonna rest with her. Let's see if I can make a bed. I do have enough to make a bed, actually. Let's make a bed... in here. Yeah. So I can sleep during the night. Uh, oh, this takes longer, actually. And you can press end the day to end the day a bit early. Yeah, I didn't get to build a bed. I actually spent a lot of time this, on this, uh, this trial. Let's look at this. So, I want Katja to sleep. Yeah, she can sleep on the floor. We might get attacked during the night, so we're going to put Bruno as a guard. And we're going to scavenge with Pavle. You can see that the inventory of Bruno is 10. Why Pavle and Katja can bring more stuff home. So we're never going to use Bruno to scavenge unless something ridiculous happens. We can go to the church. Let's look. Uh, we have uh, Priest Oleg here. So there are two versions of the church, I think. This is one where I can trade. I could actually send out Katja and give her all the diamonds. I mean, that is not the worst idea, but I think we're going to go for the looted gas station first. There is no caution here, so there is nothing to worry about. Let's go. Looted gas station. Do I want to bring something? No, I do not. And when I scavenge, it's got to look like my shelter, basically, like this. So I can go to these places and I can fill up Pavle with as much stuff as I can grab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of the stuff and put it in one pile. Uh, so try and fill up, hmm, I don't know, maybe this one with, with as much stuff as I can find. Yeah, I mean, this one seems like it's in the middle. And when you look at... Oh, no, I have to... Okay, we're gonna watch him dig, actually. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm gonna put all the stuff in one pile. And then Pavle can run over to the pile. Uh, when it's closing in, you can see we have a timer here. So we have until, I think it's 5 p.m. No, 5 a.m., sorry. And when there's like an hour left or something, I need to make sure to get over here and pick out the things I kind of want. I'm not sure exactly what I want at this point. Probably components and wood. But we also want to get some stuff to trade away when the... When we get to Trader, because every day uh, there's a chance for someone to come knocking at our door to ask for help or something. And about every third day we're going to get a Trader as well. And I want to be able to buy all of the, you guessed it, wood and components of him. And other raw materials if I have enough stuff to trade away. So for example, I can trade away medicine, which is worth a lot. And I could get... Uh, things to make the medicine, which I will make a little bit of profit on, especially when you have Katja as one of your people. Okay, let's put everything in this pile. Yeah, so you can see there's a lot of components here already, not too much wood though. Weapon parts is really nice. I do know I need five weapon parts. That's an important thing to get, to be honest. Because we want to get the Metal Workshop upgraded quickly. And we would get uh, the axe. Oh! Herbal meds. Nice. Those are actually quite nice to trade. And then there's some uh, notes here. Uh, I hid some jewelry inside the books. Look for them in the basement inside cartoon boxes. Carton boxes. Behind the bar door. Yeah. So, there's something in the basement here. 
And uh, you should always press these because they will reveal hidden locations. Or some of them will, not all of them. Now I'm just running around here now. I know there's no one here to hurt. Well, I haven't played this too many times, but there was no caution. And what's here? What's here? Oh, the poor man had been caught by the shelling. What was he doing here? Yeah, you can see some shell has gone through the door there. I'm stalling. I need to get everything. Okay, let's go downstairs. Put that in the pile. And ooh, what is this? Well, if you just keep watching, you will find out what it was we saw down there. Now, one of the reasons to do it this way is that I can make sure I bring full stacks when I uh, fill up Pavle with everything he can carry. Okay, something up here on the roof as well. Hmm, might there be something exciting down here? Or up here? Wood parts, yeah. Important stuff, all of it. Go down there. There, I had three weapon parts. I need... I want three more. Okay, lots of wood. As you can see, wood only stacks two in each stack. So, I can, at the maximum, bring back 24 wood. While po uh, components stack 4 and 4. So I can get like 48 of them in one run. Now the reason I want to get the metal workshop and the axe is that with the axe I can chop down furniture. And I would get fuel. Oh, a fridge. That's usually good stuff. Now this is iron grates, so I need to... Oh, that was a lot of food actually. Six food, awesome. I need to upgrade the metal workshop to get uh, get uh, a uh, tool to get through this. And here I need a lockpick or, uh, or the crowbar. So when I come back here... Hopefully I can have a lockpick and a crowbar. Okay, we're closing in on going home. And we can get a little bit hungry. That is not a big problem. So we're probably just going to let our people starve a little bit make them a bit unhappy in the start because i don't want to eat anything until i have the the stove but i want to get the workshop first okay let's see these stack two and i can trade them so i'm going to bring those two immediately mm, these are all the weapon parts there and i kind of want to get the weapon parts or get the axe and the other the uh, saw bone saw I think before I go back here so we're gonna bring those I don't know really uh, sugar is nice I'm gonna just bring a lot of components and tomorrow we need to check what we actually want to get I think we're gonna play like, hmm, I don't know, two days? Two days probably. We're gonna do one more day in this video. Some days are gonna go a lot faster. Like, the daytime today is gonna go pretty fast. Yeah, we're at day two. Let's see what happens. We might get the trader on the second day. That wouldn't be a disaster. Is she healthy? That's what I'm wondering about. Pavle got some stuff. She is slept poorly, hungry, and slightly sick. Okay, that's not good. So what do we want to do next? We want to build... Let's see, what we need... 
no, we're not gonna go here right now. We're gonna check this, see what we need here. We need more wood, okay. So we're gonna make a wood run tomorrow. Just stack up all the wood I can get. Uh, and you're gonna take some herbal meds, actually. I feel I can go one more day without eating. People are hungry, that's fine. Um, I guess we start making water. Yeah. We're gonna need a lot of water. And you can get water from this twice each day. But we're not gonna be playing full days, I think. Let's make four of those immediately. I mean, let's check here. What exactly do you need? Okay, I need components as well. It's gonna take a couple of days. Do I have stuff to trade? I have this. I can trade this, this, and this. I mean, it's bad if I get hurt, but yeah. And we have these two, so. The trader will be here tomorrow. Okay. You're gonna make water. And I don't think I'm gonna make anything else today. And so we only had three places to go in uh, on the first day. We're gonna have more. Don't worry about it. So what do we do now? We can sit down, I guess. Oh, we got the trader today. Okay, make sure we use Katya. That's important. She's hungry, slightly sick. Okay, now what I'm wondering about is, do does he have weapon? Oh, he has weapon parts. That's just, we're gonna get those. We're gonna trade away these. I know we need to, we're gonna need Components is the most important thing, I guess. Yep. And we actually want all of these stuff. This stuff as well. That's very generous of me. Okay, I need to get something a bit more expensive here. Maybe this? Okay. Oh, I mean, I never bought water filters at the beginning, but they actually give me, that's like, what is it cost? Three components each. Yeah, that's good. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have a bit of work to do today. Hmm, I think we're gonna be fine with the meds. What am I missing here? Three... Yeah, I, I should get the water, to be honest. Let's trade away the bandage as well, hopefully. I will not get wounded. Um, yeah. Get the water, get those, get this. Can we get a food for this? Yeah. So we could eat some. Ah, we're not going to. We're gonna get... I, I want to get these. These are raw materials to make cigarettes. That won't do. Try harder. Take away two out of water. Uh, yeah. Okay, this is a great start. Uh, we can make this now. That means we can actually just go 
back, I think. We can also make the stove, but we're not going to make that yet. Mm, the clock is 12. I think maybe I should go sleep. With one of the others. Okay, we upgraded. Now we, you can see we need a lot of stuff here. Let's see, I can make the axe in day two. That is amazing. Knife costs three weapon parts. This costs one. Okay. Make the axe. And Bruno, you're going to be put to work on the top floor, I guess. Because you will see that when I get the axe, I can suddenly chop things. That will give me fuel and it will give me wood. So I don't need to make a wood run. I need to make a components run, I think. Yeah, you can chop this down. Now, can I make... Uh, I guess... I can't make anything. I need to get the wood first. Okay. So, is there a wood... Okay, there's wood there. And he needs to loot this. Eight wood. Awesome. Can you chop down something here? Okay, this one I can chop. And I think actually we... We can make more water today. So you can see that the water is finished at some point here. Then you chop this. Um, let's, I need one more thing here. I would like a saw blade. I think we're actually going to go back to the gas station now. Because I need a saw blade and a crowbar to clear that place out. And I could chop down this chair. But my people like it when I have a chair. So we could now build this. Build a stove. That is great. Because there was a lot of food in the gas station. So yeah. We're gonna get all of the food, I think. Now, this is important. When you build a stove, you can make food. If you have Bruno, use Bruno. My people are tired, but I don't care. Hoping she gets... I mean, if she sleeps in the bed during the night, she's gonna be feel better. She might not even have needed the meds, actually. Can I upgrade it? I need... Okay, so parts is important and components is important. But I think we... We do have two meat here, so I think we're just gonna... Make it. You see, I needed water. I would have needed a lot more, but if we upgrade this though, we will not need as much. Now, we're gonna have Bruno be our guard tonight with the axe. Even though I would have liked to bring the axe out scavenging so I could chop down furniture out in the locations because you can also do that also watch the temperature this is kind of cold actually I should honestly get oh yeah they're tired I forgot about that they're gonna be really tired tomorrow I forgot to sleep with my guys. Okay, so you get see we have the supermarket. There's danger here. Since there is in their military control, it might be dangerous to do groceries there or there. Okay. I like this one. I think this one is cool. Looted gas station, we're going back there. And we have the airport, who is also danger. I really should have someone sleep in the bed. No. We're going to go for this. 
So she's gonna be awake tomorrow. Then these two, we're gonna build another bed and these two are gonna go straight to bed. We're not going to the airport, we're going to the looted gas station. Prepare. We're gonna bring the crowbar and we're gonna bring the saw blade. Yes. And now we have most of the stuff piled up already. Which is pretty great. We just need to go down here, but we're gonna also just... Yeah, look at this. Hey, don't mind me, I was taking care of an old friend of mine. Yeah, Milos. I think uh, this guy buried the, the guy up here. Use the saw blade here. Now, we might have someone asking for help tomorrow. And you can see the saw blade only works once. So uh, we need to make another one for the next place we're gonna visit. But we might do good with the gas station for a couple of days, actually. Okay, there was some stuff here. Jewelry, that's nice. And wasn't there jewelry here? I think the note said some jewelry. Yeah, and books, man. Was it cartoon? Looks like it was cartoon books. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I think we cleared out the entire station now. So now we have to see what exactly do we need to have at home. I think we're gonna get all of the food. And we're gonna get the bandage. We're just gonna bring the crowbar back. We need the parts. Did we not? We're gonna bring four parts because that's full stacks. We're gonna bring all the components. We don't need gunpowder and stuff just yet. These are great for trade. Mm. I think we're gonna start making moonshine. Let's get these ten. I feel okay about this. Yeah. There's still wood hair. Okay, so... Those were the two first days. Getting the metal workshop uh, and the axe that early, uh, that was lucky. Because the trader came and we got the, the weapon parts we needed. So this was a great start, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna end the first video there.